Alright, here's an investigation about athletic tracks. Say you're building an Olympic stadium and you're having a bit of a hard time. Uh, you need to put, put a running track in the middle of your stadium, which is sort of one of these shapes. Uh, a running track, you know, is 400 meters around, 100 meters straight, and that means you've got 200 meters left for these curvy parts here. So that must be 100. This must be a hundred as well. Now in your stadium, you need a, a floor or a base or a foundation, they call it, um, which is going to be a rectangle, um, you know, for ease of laying concrete. Um, you want to find out the area of that rectangle, the dimensions of it, so you can put the base down. Uh, you couldn't have it just being a hundred meters long because it's clearly got this extra bit here. And we also don't know how high or how far apart the two straights need to be. Well, we can figure this out. These two curved sections of the track, well, they make a circle. Uh, it's sort of cut in half and split on the end. And we know that the length of that circle, the circumference, is going to be 200. We know the formula for the circumference is pi times diameter. If we rearrange it, we can figure out the diameter of the circle by doing c over pi. Here, we're just going to substitute 200 in for our c, divided by pi, and that should give us the diameter. So, once we put that in the calculator, we get 63.66 meters. So, if we draw our new rectangle, we know that the height is going to be this diameter here, 63.66. The length, however, needs to be our 100 meters added onto that part, because you have to imagine it's a circle, so it pokes out there, and it also pokes out there. You'll notice that this length here and this length here are effectively the radius. Because we've got both, or two radiuses, radii, uh, that makes the diameter. So 163.66 meters. So there we go. Now we can work out the area by doing length times width. So we put 163.66 times 63.66, and we get this nice number, 1,418.60, uh, if we round that to two decimal places, meters squared for that area. Now, that's a fairly simplistic way to do it. What you could also consider, though, is a running track. It's got a number of lanes. Uh, your standard running athletic track will have eight lanes, uh, so that when they all do the 100 meter sprint, you get people running against each other, not just against the clock. Um, eight lanes, what, about a meter apart? So if we look back at our original um, diagram, if we had to add 8 lanes on, that's like adding 8 meters. So it's 8 meters down that way, well it's going to be 8 meters out this way, 8 meters out this way as well, and 8 meters over here. So we can take this new knowledge and modify our diagram. Because we're going down and up, well, that total distance is going to be an addition of 16. So if we look at our uh, original height, we could change that to 81.66, if my mental maths is correct. And then this one will change to 181.66. Okay, so we've got some a new, potentially more accurate uh, method for calculating. If we put that in the calculator again, 181. 0.66 times 81.66, we get this number of 14,834.36 meters squared if we round it to the nearest uh, decimal place. Now if we compare our two answers, here we've got 10,000 and here we've got 14. So actually that small consideration about the lanes appears to have made quite a big difference in terms of the answer we got. So, that's uh, two solutions I came up with for the concrete foundations for an athletics track.